Oh, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. And I want to talk about this 5G thing. Uh, I've had my doubts. I'll tell you, I heard uh, when 4G came, uh, then they said, boy, there's gonna, there won't be a 5G. And the reason it won't be 5G, it's not healthy. You know, for humans, there's too many radio waves or whatever it is, that kind of stuff. And um, so that's what I heard back when 4G started. And then um, I've... Uh, and I got the now you got to remember I, I travel around so then I'm in different different communities a different bed uh, different environments uh, so it's hard to kind of kind of get all I, all I can do is get an average okay now now since I've got this RV uh, and I, and it's my it's my bed you know how it is, you get in another bed, you, you you sleep differently than when you are in your own bed. And I've been sleeping in my bed, I'm comfortable in my bed, I love my bed. And uh, like I say, I've been staying uh, out in the country, way out in the country. And, uh, and like I say, I think I've, I've had about, about a month or so, I've had this uh, October. Uh, September, October, yeah, probably a little over a month I've had this RV, and I've been, I've been sleeping in it, it's my home, and, um, uh, I sleep very well, I mean, I, I can get, uh, seven hours non-stop, uh, just kind of maybe roll over or something maybe, uh, but I don't get up, uh, go to the bathroom, um, I don't toss and turn. I sleep just about every night. And when I don't, I just have to think and figure, okay, what happened? And remember I talked about Saturday was prime rib at the casinos. And I, I've once in a while, I go to the casino for prime rib Saturday night. And it'd be, uh, I try to eat at uh, five o'clock normally but um if i'm going with somebody and stuff like that um, uh, casino night prime rib it might not be till eight o'clock maybe nine before i get to eat and i have a lousy night's sleep every time i mean you can you can bank on it and uh now uh i've left that area that I've been staying in and um, in Topeka uh, and uh, since I've been here uh, the first night was really bad I mean I was tossing and turning and, and uh, I, I didn't eat prime rib or nothing I mean it was just that's the way it was it was a tough night and now it's been a third night and uh it's i still well i don't start tossing and turning until probably about three maybe four hours into my sleep and so and it's really been about four o'clock four o'clock in the morning is when it now and so and um uh, the person I'm with says, well, you're just getting used to it. Oh, yeah. Kind of like, you know, banging your head with a hammer. You finally, you know, when you first do it, it hurts. But you keep doing it. Yeah, it's not quite as bad, you know. It, as I have people, I think it's funny. When I do the hoi chi, I have people say, oh, I don't have any pain. You know, I, I, I can move. I can do all this kind of stuff. And they can't. They can't even bend down tie their shoe. They can't, you know, they... they they can't do a lot of things. They can't raise their arm and stuff like that. Then they get on the table, and I'm, just with my finger, I can start poking them, and I can find uh, pain. 
<laughs> you know, I mean, it hurts. You know, you're hurting me. Why did I say you don't hurt? <laughs> you know, that's because of, normally it's because of ligaments that I'm pushing on. And uh, and that's why they got limited uh, motion. I mean, they can't raise their arm. You know, I don't know how many people can't put their arm over their head, you know. Or even worse, even can't even throw a ball, you know. So, you know, uh, and then they try to tell me, oh, yeah, I'm in good shape. Well, you're not in good shape, so... Uh, but the thing is, uh, it looks like about anywhere between three and four is when I start having problems. Uh, my sleep, uh, I start tossing and turning. It's not a good sleep. And I say, so this guy tells me, oh, you're just getting used to it. Well, yeah, why well, do I want to get used to this kind of crap, you know? And then... Uh, I, I started figuring out, well, I wonder what could be causing that. I'm in my same environment. Nothing has changed except for, let me see if I can show you here. Oh, yeah, you can, you'll be able to see it. 5G. So, uh. I'm getting a full dose of 5G. <laughs> so, um, before I heard and I wondered about 5G uh, affecting our health, now there's no, there's no question about it. 5G affects your health. Uh, and I'm, uh, okay, I'm no scientist, you know, and but if these scientists are really as smart as they are, they ought to be able to figure out this 5G is making us sick. So, and when I say making us sick, what is it doing? It's changing the, you know, our body is energy. This is what the Hoi Chi is. I'm dealing with energy. And uh, uh, that's what's going on, that 5G is affecting the energy in our body. When that happens, uh, you get out of sync, and then you're. Well, we talk about balance. You ever heard about balance in health? Well, it gets you out of balance, and once you're out of balance, then you get sick. So uh, now I'm also wondering about this virus thing. Uh, I wonder how much of that is affected, uh, or the 5G affects the the virus if that opens up the virus if that uh you know opens us so we can get it because you know i mean tons of people got it and it, it's it just and that's what i find so stupid you're getting tested for to see if you got it and uh you know so what are you testing for so you if you got it or you don't how many people got the flu don't even know they have the flu and some people get the flu and they get deathly sick okay this is what's happening. Uh, the 5G is affecting our health. Now, uh, now, what, how that uh, affects the this virus thing? I don't know, but I know it affects the health. And uh, this is something you need to be aware of and understand. And uh, don't buy into the the 5G doesn't doesn't affect you because it. Does I guarantee it? This mic, no stress mic. Dot com.